I was very impressed by the seminar held today uh, on the UN Security Council. I think a lot of issues came up that tend to get buried because people really don't want to face up to them. I mean, one of the most important issues is whether the five countries that have the veto should have it permanently for the rest of their existences. And clearly, there has been heavy dissent in the U United Nations itself uh, that this should not continue. Now, in 1945, when the UN Security Council was first established, uh, President Roosevelt, who, who was the man who basically created the organization, insisted that the five countries that were part of the wartime anti-Nazi alliance, that is, Great Britain, France, China, the Soviet Union, the United States, should be the primary figures running the organization. That might have made sense in 1945 because they were the most powerful countries on earth. But today, the realities uh, are very much different. In 2016, you have countries like Brazil, like Germany, like uh, India, and, uh, and, and like uh, other ones of that size who all deserve a recognition that they are now in much stronger positions, have their own armies, have great wealth, have large populations, and they should be represented in some more permanent way on the UN Security Council. And I think the gist of what happened in this meeting came through very powerfully that uh, the small countries or, or mid-sized countries are no longer willing to put up with the uh, power grab that the five countries, the P5, who have the, o the only countries that have the veto on the Security Council, should, should no longer have that right. There should be a change. I think the spirited debate that happened today was really about how do you make that change? How do you convince the five countries with the veto to either limit the veto or abolish it all altogether? It's going to be a very difficult fight. It's going to be a long fight. But I think world public opinion and meetings like this will eventually result in a change where there will be a, a new configuration on the Security Council, which will include Brazil and, and these other countries, and make it clear that the way you create legitimacy in the decision making on the Security Council means that you have to be more inclusive in the membership lineup. And the membership lineup will, will have to expand in order to make the UN a workable organization for the future.